But in this video, I'm going to take you around the house today. I'm going to show you some of the hustles that I kept and, uh, you know, what they're worth still in present day markets. What's going on guys and gals, Chris the Bonafide Hustler coming to you live from the inside of my house and today we're going to be going around the house. In fact, maybe a couple videos, maybe two, three videos in this sequence where I'm going to kind of show you some cool things that I did keep from the, you know, 16 to 18 years that I've been reselling and going to garage sales and thrift stores and stuff like that. I did keep some cool things, so I'm going to show you some of these things in some of the upcoming videos including this one. Alright, so don't forget to hit the like button, make sure you subscribed as well. Pick up the free guide so you can learn how to resell used items for cash. That's pretty cool. And keep whichever ones you want to. But let's get to the very first item. It's actually in my closet. Okay, we're he sitting here in my closet and the very first item actually is a watch. So check this thing out. It's a vintage Swatch watch. Hopefully we can see that. And uh, yeah, I decided to keep this one. This is probably worth about 60, 70 bucks. But it's a really nice watch with some cool 80s slash early 90s colors. I really enjoy it and I like it. So I decided to keep this one. This was found at a garage sale for dirt cheap, probably no more than three bucks, maybe even two bucks. But yeah, this is one of the things that I did decide to keep. And uh, once every now and then I put batteries in it and they're very easy. I mean, just basically take that thing off, put the batteries in and it's a pretty cool looking watch. I mean, it's just neat. I kind of wish the band was a little bit different colored, but I like the overall look of this watch. It just screams retro. So that is one of the things that I did keep from garage sales was this Swatch watch right here. So having the kind of thrifty nature that I have, right? Uh, another thing that I did, and it's kind of thrifty in a sense. I didn't buy it from a uh, garage sale and I didn't buy it from a thrift store, but I got it from one of my friends that was throwing it away and I envisioned this thing. And that is right behind me. See that old door right there? All right, so this is the old door from my neighbor's house. The patina looks really cool and we just slapped a mirror on it. So it looks cool. Everyone comments about this thing when they come into this room, but yeah, it is a neat looking door with a pretty simple mirror with mirror mounts and you can see, you know, it's got some really nice patina to it. So this was a free door. If I was to put this in my booth right now in this kind of way that it is right now, it'd probably sell for around 200 bucks, maybe even 250. So it kind of goes to show you that you can engineer something pretty simple with an old door, a mirror, lean it up against a wall and you have a full length mirror just like that. So that is the second thing I wanted to show you guys. As we go through my hallway, some interesting things. Uh, this was what, like three bucks at a garage sale? Who knows what this is? Comment down below. Uh, yeah, what movie? Who knows what it is and what movie did it come from? All right, and if you guessed that one, this was probably another two bucks or three bucks. Who is this? What movie? Yeah. Pretty interesting, this is in my hallway. But across from this is the thing that's behind me. This was $12.99 in the Goodwill, and this is a real um, kind of double hemisphere map pulled out of a 1828 kind of atlas. So very neat, and it is 100% real. And the last time I checked the price of this thing uh, framed, it was around 350 bucks, but that was also a appraised price that I got about, um, what was it, 10 years ago or something like that. So pretty neat little thing right here. It's a double hemisphere kind of map. You can see that it get, definitely came out of an atlas back in the day. We have the, the little book crease right there. It's just neat. So that was sitting at a Goodwill. Uh, for $12.99 uh, about 10 years ago. So yeah, not something you find every day. I decided to keep this one. Okay, so this is my closet and there's some pretty notable kind of finds here. I think the most notable, we saw it on a uh, actual video of mine, was this down jacket right here. This is a North Face Summit Series down jacket. I walked up paying 20 bucks out the door for this thing and it's probably worth around 110 at this point, but it is such a good jacket and it's hooded. So that is really important when you're, you know, going out there and exposed to the elements. Having a hood does matter. Uh, but a no more notable find too would be this marmot down jacket right here. And this was eight dollars at an estate sale. This will probably resell for around sixty to maybe seventy-five bucks. Nothing crazy, but it goes to show you that if you just are patient, you can find some really neat things at garage sales and estate sales. This was eight dollars in the back of someone's closet, um, and I was probably an hour into the estate sale after it opened, and no one decided to go into the closet and look at this thing, it was crazy. Eight bucks, it was just tucked back there. So I decided to pop on that and I've had this thing for like five years now. Okay, so we're in my living room right now. There's some cool finds in here. One of the things that I uh, like to do is kind of collect some old randoms. So we have a land camera, not really anything special. We have a Ciroflex, um, nothing special. 
Uh, this is kind of cool. This came from a garage sale and I decided to keep it. That's pretty neat, a Kodak 35, nothing crazy right there. But I think what's pretty neat is this connecting rod right here that I bought out of a uh, antique mall in North Carolina. So I think I spent around 10 or 15 bucks on this thing and it is just the piece, you know, it makes it look really neat. If I pull back, you can kind of see how this looks. But yeah, this is just something I like and I love aviation type stuff. Um, but this is a connecting rod out of a, not a P51, but a, it's like a wasp motor that was found in certain planes, even to present day trainer planes, you can still find a connecting rod like this. But I don't know if they're, polished like that when you find them. I think they might be a completely different color. I don't, I'm not a hundred percent sure. So, but this is pretty neat. Um, and it definitely is a good kind of central piece in the living room. Also in the living room, some neat things like this that I keep from garage sales, orange crush, carbonated beverage kind of containers, wood containers. And this is, you know, I could sell this in my booth for around 30 bucks. I could sell these things in my booth for around 25 to around 40 bucks. Decided to keep a couple of those as I go to garage sales and stuff. I find things like this. Here's a beer kind of tray, uh, like a kind of thing with handles as you can see, but I decided I'm gonna probably put plants in this thing somehow and make them kind of come out like this. Maybe some snake tongue or something like that. But this is some Denmark beer thing out of Wisconsin. Uh, the original box is pretty neat. I have all kinds of stuff. Here's an explosives box that has plants on it. I have a lot of cool things in the house, but it's tastefully kind of done, I guess. But this is a high explosives box right here, as you can see, Trojan powder. And uh, yeah, on top of that are some plants and some neat things that I found at garage sales as usual. You know, this is a chow with or something like that. I think it's a chow with lantern. It's a railroad lantern. So I got that right there. There's also one upstairs as, as well, but this is pretty cool. You can sell these things for like 50 bucks in the booth, something like that. But you know, any time I come across something like this, I definitely keep it. Let's go up my stairs for a little bit. I want to show you a guitar that I found for 10 bucks. This is an Epiphone uh, acoustic guitar with uh, abalone inlay, as you can see right there. So this thing, yeah, was 10 bucks, uh, probably resell for around three, 350. And it's not a totally deep kind of acoustic, it's more like a slimmer one. So really nice find right there. And it plays really nicely too. Um, but yeah, it's fully stringed up professionally. And every now and then when I get a chance, I play this thing, but that was $10 at a garage sale, 10, box. So the model of this one is an FT-135. I think it still resells for around three to 350. And it's a pretty nice guitar. I really like the inlay, as you can see on the guitar right there. Like I said earlier, if you like videos like this and we're not done yet, uh, make sure you hit the like button and uh, put down comments on things that you might think are neat. All right, so here in my entertainment center, nothing crazy, but a notable kind of find was this $10 Xbox One that I have been playing lately. And it has about 13 games on it, but six are really accessible. The other seven are accessible only through the guy's email account. But anyway, yeah, I've been playing some Tomb Raider on here, The Rise of the Tomb Raider, which is a pretty good game. Uh, this, was the, this is the Modern Warfare Edition, so they could probably resell for around 120 bucks, nothing crazy. But that was a $10 find with two controllers at a garage sale. So just a neat thing that I play with today and it's still worth some good money once I'm done with it. Another thing I found at garage sales, I think this was $10. Uh, we put this on top of the Forerunner one day and this is just a storage kind of, you know, locker. It's not a locker technically, but it is a locking type of thing. I guess you could consider it to be lockers. I put things like candles in here and all kinds of stuff, um, randoms, but it's pretty neat and it's definitely taller than me. Kind of give you an idea of how tall this thing is. Um, but yeah, this is a really cool little uh, thing to put in the corner of a little bit. You know, the, the setting is a little urban around here, sort of, and this kind of completes it a little bit. So that right there was 10 bucks at a garage sale and in my booth, this could resell easily for about one to 150 all day, but I decided to keep it and there it is. As we get into my dining room, you'll notice we got some uh, windows right here that were cleaned. Um, you know, they're nice looking. Um, you know, ideally I'd probably try to put some, um, you know, pictures behind it, but these are things that I find all the time at garage sales, but they're never clean like this. We had, you know, this, this was cleaned and that's the original patina. Um, but yeah, usually when you find these things, they got dust and garage dust all over them and you have to brush them down and wash them and stuff. And all kinds of stuff from garage sales that I have found, as you can see up here, uh, you know, this, this liquor cabinet, for example, right here was, I think around 30 bucks from a Salvation Army about 
14 years ago or something crazy like that. So yeah, that's my little uh, liquor cabinet. I don't really mess with this kind of stuff that much, but you know, it's just chilling right here in the corner. Just a really good example of some of the neat things you can find if you adopt a thrifty lifestyle and you go to garage sales and stuff like that. So um, I'll show you one last thing and you tell me if this is weird or whatever. I kept it, I found it at a garage sale and it's an old sign from an old kind of fast food place. But it's neat and here it is right here. Just says hamburger 49 cents, cheeseburger 59 cents. It's an old little sign. I like it. Who knows where it came from, but it's just chilling here. Um, and I don't know, it's kind of interesting. So that's the reason why I kept it. I wanted to make a quick video to kind of test the water, see if you kind of like videos like this. I have a ton of cool things that I did keep, but it's tastefully kind of done. I don't like to be a hoarder or anything like that. We haven't even made it into the garage or anything because there's some really neat finds in there. But uh, if you like videos like this, hit the like button. Make sure you comment down below which one's your favorite kind of find. And you know, did you know what those two characters in the hallway were? Let me know down below as well. Until the next time, take it easy. Goodbye.